Hi, Andrew Kramer here with Video Copilot. Now to start, I'm going to take this uh, real 8mm film clip, which is actually digitally transferred from real 8mm film, so you can't get any more authentic than that. So what I want to do is I want to drag this layer down onto my timeline window right over our bride footage and then line that up at the zero point. And the next thing I want to do is essentially key out this white area so that all the dust and dirt is basically overlaying our bride footage. Now to do that, we're going to change the transfer mode of this film layer. And to do that, we just click on this mode and we change it from normal to, for this particular case, multiply. So with that selected, we can, we can see that immediately we're getting, we're, we're getting somewhere. Um, the dust and scratches are right on top of our bride footage and it's starting to look pretty good. But we want to take that a step further. So the next thing I want to do is make a new adjustment layer. So we go layer, new, adjustment layer. And an adjustment layer, if you don't already know, is basically an effects layer that allows you to add effects to it and it basically affects all the layers below it. So let's go ahead and add a hue adjustment um, to this. So we'll go to adjust hue and saturation. Now inside of this effect, um, we're going to click on the colorize box, which is going to turn on a tinting mode. And let's go ahead and change the hue to about 25. And that kind of gives us a, a nice old look. And the saturation at 25 looks pretty good. So, uh, you know, right away we get a really, really nice look. But we can also take this another step forward and blur the edges of the video to kind of give it a nice projected look. Um, that you know with the uneven focus of a uh, old projector lens so to do that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this bride footage and I'm gonna duplicate it and to do that we're gonna go edit duplicate now with this layer selected um, if we come up to our tools palette um, underneath um, the rectangle mask tool is another tool called the elliptical mask tool and with that showing if we just double click on it we automatically add a round mask to our footage. And that's exactly what we want to use. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is with this, with this bride footage selected, this second instance of the original bride footage, I'm going to add a fast blur. So we're going to go to effects, blur, fast blur. And we're going to make it say about 25. And let's go ahead and repeat the edge pixels so that our blur doesn't get cut off prematurely. And the next thing I want to do is I want to go into the mask properties for this layer. So if we bring down this little drop down arrow, we see masks here. And underneath here, what we're going to do is we're going to change the mode of this mask to subtract. And so as you can see, that's basically taking away the middle part of this mask. Now, it's hard to see on the edges, but the edges are now being blurred out. So we'll go ahead and shut off the film layer for now just so we can see what's going on. So as you see the layers, uh, the edges are pretty blurred out. But we want to uh, we want to make that a little bit more impactful. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the mask expansion into some negative values and that's going to bring the layer in as you can see maybe to about right here or so. And then we're going to feather the edges of the mask so that we kind of get a gradual fade of the blur and let's even change the uh, uh, the expansion just a little bit, maybe about right there. Or so, so as you can see, we're kind of getting a nice blurred edges look. And you know, you can use this uh, technique for you know many other instances, but in this particular case, it really adds to the authenticity of this effect. Now, let's go ahead and turn this real eight millimeter film layer back on. So now, as you can see, we have these we have these really blurred edges, um, and we can even go back into this layer and and boost the blurriness maybe to about 50. So that gives it a really nice look. So if you don't want to have these outer borders, what you can do is select the real 8mm film loop and just just increase the scale of it. And that way you still get the nice dust and scratches, but instead of having that little vignette mask, um, you know, depending on what you're doing. Um, I kind of think I kind of think it's a nice effect. It adds just kind of like that you know, projected on the wall look or whatever. So anyway, this is how you can create an old film look right inside After Effects.